Fellow gardeners, what I'm about to share with you will completely transform how you think about feeding your plants. For centuries, Korean farmers have been using a revolutionary approach that makes expensive synthetic fertilizers obsolete. This isn't just another gardening trend, it's a time-tested system that harnesses the power of indigenous microorganisms and fermented plant extracts to create the most potent living fertilizer you can imagine. The secret lies in Korean natural farming, a methodology developed by Master Cho Han Kyu that works with nature's own biological processes rather than against them. While chemical companies want you dependent on their products, this ancient wisdom proves that everything you need to create thriving nutrient-dense plants already exists in your backyard. You're about to discover how to capture beneficial microbes from your own soil and transform common weeds into liquid plant food that outperforms anything you can buy. The Foundation Indigenous Microorganisms – Your Soil's Hidden Superpower The cornerstone of Korean natural farming begins with collecting indigenous microorganisms, the beneficial bacteria and fungi that already exist in your local environment. These microscopic allies have been perfectly adapted to your specific climate and soil conditions over thousands of years, making them infinitely more effective than generic commercial products. To create your first IMO culture, you'll need cooked white rice, not brown rice, as the brand can attract unwanted bacteria. Steam the rice until it's fully cooked but not mushy, then spread it in a shallow wooden box or bamboo basket. The rice acts as a perfect medium for capturing airborne microorganisms. Cover the rice with a breathable cloth or paper towel, securing it with a rubber band, then place this collection box in an area with rich biodiversity. The ideal location is under deciduous trees where leaf litter accumulates, near compost piles, or in areas where plants grow particularly well. Avoid coniferous trees, as their antimicrobial properties can inhibit the microorganisms you want to capture. Within three to seven days, you'll notice the rice becoming covered with various colored molds, white, blue, green, and sometimes pink or yellow. This rainbow of fungi represents different beneficial microorganisms that will become the foundation of your living fertilizer system. Creating IMO2, Stabilizing Your Microbial Army Once your rice is thoroughly colonized with microorganisms, it's time to create IMO2, which stabilizes and multiplies these beneficial cultures. Remove the moldy rice and mix it with an equal weight of brown sugar or jaggery. The sugar serves multiple purposes. It feeds the microorganisms, preserves the culture, and creates an anaerobic environment that favors beneficial bacteria over harmful pathogens. Knead this mixture thoroughly until the sugar completely dissolves and the consistency becomes uniform. Pack this mixture into a glass jar, leaving about two inches of headspace and cover with a breathable cloth secured with a rubber band. Store this in a cool, dark place for seven days. During this fermentation period, the beneficial microorganisms multiply exponentially while the sugar acts as a natural preservative. The finished IMO2 should have a sweet, slightly alcoholic smell, never putrid or foul. This concentrate can be stored for months and serves as your starter culture for creating endless batches of living fertilizer. Just one successful IMO collection can provide you with beneficial microorganisms for years of gardening. Fermented Plant Juice Nature's Ultimate Plant Probiotic While IMO provides the microbial foundation, Fermented Plant Juice, or FPJ, delivers concentrated plant nutrients in their most bioavailable form. This technique transforms common weeds and fast-growing plants into, well, liquid gold for your garden. The beauty of FPJ lies in selecting plants that exhibit the characteristics you want to encourage in your crops, vigorous growth, disease resistance, or specific nutritional profiles. The best candidates for FPJ are young, actively growing plants harvested in the early morning when their life force is strongest. Dandelions provide potassium and trace minerals, comfrey offers complete amino acids and growth hormones, while banana peels contribute potassium and natural plant growth regulators. Stinging nettle creates one of the most potent FPJs, providing nitrogen, silica, and natural plant strengtheners. So to create FPJ, you'll want to chop your selected plant material finely, 
which really helps increase the surface area. Then, layer it with brown sugar using a 1 to 1 weight ratio. The key here is to thoroughly mix each layer, making sure every plant cell comes into contact with the sugar. Next, pack this mixture into a glass jar, but only fill it about two-thirds full to allow for expansion during fermentation. Finally, cover the jar with a breathable cloth and secure it with a rubber band. Now let's talk about the fermentation process. Timing and technique really matter here. This process typically takes anywhere from 7 to 14 days, depending on the temperature and the plant material you've chosen. During the first few days, you'll probably notice some bubbling as natural yeasts start breaking down the plant sugars. The mixture will darken and develop a pretty complex, almost wine-like aroma. This anaerobic fermentation extracts water-soluble nutrients, amino acids, and natural plant hormones that, honestly, synthetic fertilizers just can't provide. Temperature control is, well, absolutely crucial during fermentation. Ideal temperatures range between 65 and 75 degrees Fahrenheit, or 18 to 24 degrees Celsius. If it gets too hot, harmful bacteria might proliferate, and if it's too cold, fermentation slows down dramatically. If your environment is a bit too warm, try fermenting in a basement or a cool pantry. In colder climates, place the jar in a slightly warm area, but definitely never in direct sunlight. After about seven days, you'll want to strain the liquid through cheesecloth or, you know, a fine mesh strainer. The resulting FPJ should be clear to slightly cloudy with a pleasant, slightly alcoholic smell. This concentrated extract contains living enzymes, beneficial bacteria, and plant nutrients in forms that roots can immediately absorb. Store your finished FPJ in the refrigerator where it'll remain viable for up to six months. Application ratios and timing. This is really where making liquid gold work comes in. The power of Korean natural farming lies not just in creating these biological inputs, but honestly, in applying them correctly. Both IMO and FPJ are extremely concentrated and must be diluted before application. For IMO2, use a ratio of 1 to 1,000, that's 1 gram per liter of water, for foliar spraying or soil drenching. For FPJ, the standard dilution is 1 to 500 to 1 to 1,000 depending on plant sensitivity and growth stage. Apply these solutions during the coolest parts of the day, early morning or evening, to maximize absorption and really minimize stress on your plants. Foliar applications are particularly effective, since leaves can absorb nutrients right away. However, Soil drenching feeds the root zone and helps build up those beneficial microbial populations in your growing medium. Young seedlings require gentler concentrations, around 1 to 1,000 or even 1 to 1,500, while mature plants during peak growing season can handle stronger solutions. During flowering and fruiting, you'll want to reduce application frequency, but, you know, still maintain regular feeding to support those energy-intensive reproductive processes. The key here is consistency rather than intensity. Regular, diluted applications really do build robust plant health over time. So, let's talk about the science behind the magic and why this works better than chemicals. Korean natural farming succeeds where synthetic fertilizers fail because it addresses the fundamental biology of plant nutrition. Chemical fertilizers provide isolated nutrients in salt forms that plants must work hard to process, and honestly, this often disrupts soil pH and ends up killing beneficial microorganisms. In contrast, fermented plant extracts and indigenous microorganisms create a symbiotic relationship that enhances natural nutrient cycling. The beneficial bacteria and fungi in IMO form partnerships with plant roots, extending their reach and improving nutrient uptake. These microorganisms also produce natural antibiotics that suppress plant diseases, which means you can reduce the need for fungicides and pesticides. Meanwhile, the living enzymes in FPJ help plants metabolize nutrients more efficiently, leading to stronger cell walls, improved disease resistance, and, yeah, even enhanced flavor in fruits and vegetables. Perhaps most importantly, this biological approach builds soil health over time rather than depleting it. Getting started, your first steps to fertilizer freedom. Begin your Korean natural farming journey by collecting IMO this week. 
The process really requires minimal investment, just rice, brown sugar, and some basic containers you probably already have at home. Start small with one IMO collection and one simple FPJ using readily available materials like grass clippings or kitchen scraps. Document your results by photographing plants before and after treatment and make notes on growth rates, disease resistance, and overall plant vigor. Most gardeners notice improvements within two to three weeks of consistent application. As your confidence grows, go ahead and experiment with different plant materials for FPJ and expand your IMO production to cover larger growing areas. Remember this isn't about replacing all conventional practices overnight. Korean natural farming integrates beautifully with organic gardening methods, permaculture principles, and sustainable growing practices. Start with just a few plants or a small garden bed, perfect your technique, then gradually expand as you see results. The journey toward fertilizer independence begins with understanding that everything you need already exists in nature. Korean farmers have proven this approach works across diverse climates and growing conditions. Now it's your turn to harness these ancient secrets and transform your garden into a thriving, self-sustaining ecosystem. Ready to revolutionize your gardening and break free from expensive fertilizers forever? Hit that subscribe button and share this guide with fellow gardeners who are ready to unlock nature's most powerful growing secrets. Your plants and your wallet will thank you.